this is just a short uh, video to discuss the uh, lab manual uh, the lab report I'm sorry and what are the what the requirements are for the lab report so obviously the first thing uh, you need is a cover page so this is a sample cover page where I have the course name uh, the lab report is going to be written in two parts in the same document so part one is going to be the synthesis and characterization of aspirin and then part two will be extraction of natural products obviously you need your name the instructor's name and the date submitted all right within the lab report uh, first thing I want to point out is that you need to have your pages numbered um, their points will be deducted for that I know it's a simple deduction but we will deduct points for that uh, let me just blow this up just a tad all right so let's look here um, at the format all right so here you want to start with your introduction um, don't start your lab report out by saying in this experiment we did X Y and Z all right use the introduction to actually lead me into understanding what you did right if you made aspirin then you need to have some uh, pertinent information about aspirin right how many tons of aspirin were taken last year you know what are some common uses for aspirin things like that that needs to be in your first paragraph all right you need to make sure that you include a chemical structure or for aspirin or um, for the reaction the aspirin reaction you have that in your notebook there's free software available to do this um, and if you need help with it just let me know I'll be happy to help you um, as far as your references do not uh, put material in your lab report without referencing it I prefer uh, references to be in ACS format American Chemical Society format and so here noticed uh, I'm just inserting a footnote so if I go up to the references tab on uh, Microsoft Word and I click uh, insert footnote and then once you hit insert footnote you can type your reference down there let me show you the, the format for ACS so it's the last name comma initials and then the journal in italics the year in bold the volume also in italics and then the page numbers here right you can use um, this format uh, where the page numbers all of the page numbers are listed or you can just list the first page number and that reference is always ended with a period um, what I want you to do is go online this is this sample uh, lab report is already on blackboard uh, you can use this as a format so that first paragraph is the introduction talking about the different things uh, just some different facts about aspirin uh, your second paragraph well here you need a, a reaction scheme uh, and then in your last or your second paragraph of your introduction you need to talk about uh, what you did right so this is the place where you say in this experiment we synthesized aspirin and we obtained aspirin in X percent yield and then we characterize aspirin using whatever techniques we've used TLC uh, we tested the pH we did the melting point and things like that alright so in the, in the that's the introduction and the experimental section again uh, you can put the reaction scheme uh, here or you can put it here but in the experimental section this is where you talk about your synthesis all right it shouldn't be conversational all right this is a scientific report so it should be just terse complete sentences telling what you did um, nothing else and so let's uh, let's see how this reads ibuprofen was synthesized using a Friedel Crafts alkylation reaction to a 125 milliliter early mile flask was added 25 grams of isobutyl benzene followed by one milligram of iron bro so again all you're doing is just telling what you did don't say we did such and such or uh, we mixed up such and such no there's no there's no mixing up you add it to the flask and then the reaction takes place so the mixture was allowed to stir so if you mixed it up that means you stirred it for five minutes right so again write this just like you were telling it to a third grader complete sentences and just t tell what you did alright so your experimental section is probably going uh, once you put in the synthesis then if you did anything else you, you did do a recrystallization of aspirin so you would put that here 
uh, you did a TLC of aspirin, you did the pH of aspirin. So each one of those sections should have its own paragraph. And then in the data section, you need to use tables uh, if possible for your data. So in this case, this is a table showing the, the, the uh, percent yield. So we need we have our compound crude yield, which we didn't calculate, but we have a percent yield here. All right, and then for the melting point, same way you make a table, you will put in, we did two trials on the melting point, you will put in two columns, trial one, trial two, that will be here. Um, and then in the final section is your discussion section, so that can be uh, any observations that um, you want to put here, anything crazy that happened, if you lost half of your material, uh, you dropped it on the floor, then th you would use this section to explain why your yield was only 20%, so on and so forth. And then your conclusions, you just want to wrap up the experimental part here. So we successfully synthesized aspirin or we successfully isolated lycopene or beta carotene, so on and so forth. And then in part two, you would do the exact same thing, but you would do it for spinach, beta carotene, and lycopene. So in the data section for your second uh, part of the report, you could potentially have uh, for your TLC, let's just say for TLC, you can do um, beta carotene, lycopene, and then chlorophyll because we did um, chlorophyll from spinach, beta carotene from carrots, and then lycopene from tomato paste. So that uh, second part here, part two, the extraction of natural products, you need to write up the introduction and you can do a combination introduction where you talk about lycopene, beta carotene, and chlorophyll. But in your uh, experimental section, you're going to need the procedures for lycopene, for beta carotene, and for um, chlorophyll. You're going to need that uh, uh, a um, procedure for each one of those in the experimental section. And the data section is okay to combine the uh, data from each experiment. The amount extracted, um, the RF values, things like that you can combine in tables in the data section for part two, which is the natural products part. All right, let me go back to the last section here. In the appendix, everybody should have an appendix. And in the appendix, you're going to need to find a proton NMR for aspirin. And you can find that using uh, this SDBS database. If you Google SDBS database, you'll be able to find that with no problem. And then just th you'll see that you can do a search for different types of compounds. I'm going to make this red and bold. This is the, if you Google this, you'll be able to find the uh, proton NMR for aspirin. And you also need to find an infrared for aspirin. And, you, and that, that will look something like this. And you can find that on the SDBS database also. All right. So one last thing for your references. Uh, do not get, we'll use a bibliography. All right. We're going to just do the footnotes and, and let that be that. So I want the references in ACS format in footnotes. And that should be fine. If you have any questions, just shoot me an email and we can go from there. All right. Thanks.